So let's dig in a little bit and understand better what happens with filtration. So you have a bunch of blood that you want to purify, and that's coming towards the glomerulus. And in that blood, you're going to have some red blood cells, these things that I'm drawing here. And then outside of the red blood cells, you're going to have some fluid. And that fluid is what we call plasma. And then inside of the plasma, there are a lot of different things dissolved, like glucose, amino acids, a bunch of electrolytes like sodium, potassium, and then there are also proteins. And proteins we know are actually a lot bigger than all these other things. So all of these are dissolved in the plasma, so we can draw them in. And there are a lot of other electrolytes in addition to sodium and potassium, but those are the two that we'll talk about for now. And then here are some proteins. And then what happens is that the blood makes its way down into the glomerulus, and as we mentioned, in the glomerulus we have these holes that allow fluid through. And the fact is that there's actually pretty high pressure here in this glomerulus, and that pressure is what kind of squeezes the fluid out through the holes. So what comes out is some water, and also some glucose in that water, and some amino acids, because those are all small. They can easily get through these holes, as well as sodium and potassium. But red blood cells are much too big. They can't fit through those little holes. And actually, proteins don't get in either. So then this fluid here is what we called the filtrate. And now we can ask ourselves, what's in the stuff that did not get filtered out here? So of course, red blood cells are going to be here because we said that they couldn't get through. And same thing with proteins. Proteins are going to be out here. But the key thing to realize is that also, you're still going to have fluid here. And in that fluid, of course, you're going to have all the usual components. You're going to have some glucose, amino acids, and electrolytes. And the reason that you have those things there, you might be confused because we said that they can squeeze out here. But not all of them are going to squeeze out. And so actually, you have a fair amount of plasma in the blood leaving the glomerulus as well. And of course, if there was no plasma, this blood would not be able to flow out of the glomerulus. It would just be clumps of red blood cells and proteins that are not fluid enough to flow.